For tickets to the 2009 America East Women's Championship, March 12th through the 15th at the Chase Family Arena, call the Hawks ticket office at 860-768-HAWK or go to HartfordHawks.com. For championship information, log on to AmericaEast.com. For our Coca-Cola top scholar this time around, it's a freshman, Alicia Mathis, and we've talked quite a bit over the last couple of years about the challenges freshmen face, about balancing everything, being away from home, being a Division One athlete, and all the schoolwork, and she's done it pretty well. She has. Um, it's been very impressive. You know, you, you sometimes you have kids who do really well in high school, but you don't know how they're going to make that transition. And Alicia's in a really demanding major, physical therapy, so she didn't come in here and, and take a really easy load as a freshman. And she tackled it, and she was dedicated to it. And um, you just can't ask for more in terms of balance from a student athlete. She's everything we want in a kid in our program. My name is Alicia Mathis. I'm a freshman, and I'm majoring in health sciences. I had a 3.75 GPA. It wasn't really hard for me at all. Uh, I studied, did what I had to do. You know, we have mandatory study halls, so I usually get all my work done, because we have six hours a week. So I usually get all my work done there. So three hours a day for basketball, it's a lot of time in between for free time too. Then I'm gonna enter into the physical therapy program. So it's gonna be three years after. So it's just a seven year program. So I plan on maybe starting my own physical therapy. I just like being around people, helping people. So I thought that would be a good fit for me and you don't have to dress up or anything. <laughs> I guess I'm starting to find my role, feel a little more comfortable with the team. Some people say I'm laid back, but I'm aggressive at times. I like to create, find open player. I was never the type to go far from home, so it was a great fit. And of course, with Adi, she's like the best coach ever, so I knew this is my place. The Hawks Scholar Athlete is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Last time we talked about how to feed the post. Today we're going to talk about how to finish. So again, when Mary passes the ball into the post away from the defender's hands, Casey catches it. We always talk to our post players about chinning the basketball with their elbows out. Okay, if the defense is on the high side, Casey's going to take a hard drop step dribble and finish going to the basket with her left hand. Now, once the guard has passed the ball in the post, their job is not done. Because if their defender comes down in double teams, we talk to our guard about making sure they relocate. So as the ball comes in the post and the defense plays behind and the guard comes down to double team the post, Mary wants to relocate to the back of her defender and be ready to shoot the basketball on the kick out. So we call this the two-man game. Once that ball's passed in the post, it's Casey's job to find a way to score, but if that defense comes down in double teams, we expect our guard to be ready to shoot the ball as well. Up next, Jen answers your questions and asks the coach. And Katie Kelly goes one-on-one -on -one with senior Lisa Etienne when Hartford Hawks basketball with Jen Rosati returns. 